Greetings, dear ones. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. The thrust of the teaching today I gave to my partner so that you could ask the question, is it possible that this new energy, the new consciousness, that all of the things we've been talking about would also involve that which was the whole planet. The energy of the earth, the physics that you know, the esoterics that you believe, the angelics that you depend on. And the answer is yes. Everything and everyone is involved in this which is the greatest shift that humanity has ever started. And I emphasize yet again, started. For that is where you are. In the scheme of things, dear ones, consciousness is not something that shifts instantly. It will happen in different forms, in different ways, in different cultures, and it takes different time. As you sit there or as you listen to this, for your culture, you may already be experiencing this very thing. And in others, they may not experience it for a generation. One becomes a catalyst for the other. And typically, there will be those on the planet who will receive things to help others. The shift is real. There are still those listening who wonder. I'd like to tell you about it. I'm going to label this particular message surprises in the new energy. We're going to start by saying there are those who inexplicably have just awakened. Those who would listen to these channels, which have been posted since 2005, and find them new. For the first time, without a book, stumble upon this message and be listening now. So I'll say to you, dear one, welcome. It's not an accident that your ears hear this, a message for you. Why would you suddenly be interested in these things now? It's almost like there is an acceleration program for some people. Ones who would never, ever be listening to something like this are now doing so willingly without anyone around. Is there something here? And there is. Dear one, if you're one of those who is just awakening now in so many ways, we tell you that this is what the energy creates. It literally affects that which is your akash. You start to awaken into purpose that you never thought you had before. Things start occurring to you, beautiful things. Is there more? Is there a lot more? Is there a system that I have missed? What is being said about it? Who is talking? And then there is that integrity that starts to tell you what you're hearing is right or wrong. Is the messenger trying to sell you something? Is the messenger trying to get you to do something? This messenger of Cryon is trying to tell you that you are loved beyond what you think you are from a creative source that you have called God. The earth knows about this source, the singular God, the oneness of God, but they don't know that there is a beauty of benevolence that exists that knows your name. That's the message. And that something grand has happened on the planet. 
something that was predicted by the ancients not by the currents not by your scripture but by the ancients that is what is taking place things that you will find in the ancient calendars and the writings on the walls in the lips of the elders who remember what they were taught a time of great decision a time of great light and dark a time of no fence sitting a time of truth a time of awareness and awakening and every single human will have a choice to accept it to see it or to simply walk the way they've been walking but the ones who will see it first the ones who will listen to this message and wonder why they are are the ones that have been on this planet for eons that is the old soul your soul is journeying through life the soul is eternal it never dies it comes and goes and comes and goes in different kinds of situations cultures bodies genders and learns things as it goes this is the time you planned for old soul whether you know it or not there may be mystery right now to you what is this what is really being said and so for you we say take it slowly listen carefully and perceive truth but the ancients knew that human consciousness would someday awaken to a higher much higher ethics the beginning would be with those who were old souls who had been on the planet the longest and would have the equipment that is the experience to see what it was it's a fast track of learning helped along by the things that we have channeled are happening that the earth itself and all that is upon it knows who you are and what is going on and that there are processes at work that will make this an awakening far far easier because the processes are one that will void the dark make it uncomfortable for those who only want the darkness in their lives and will eventually wipe away that which you even would consider to be evil this is where you are the beginning is where you are the second kind of person is the one I want to address now who is the old soul who knows this who has been listening for years who expected it and now is having trouble with it trouble in the new age we can say and the reasons have been covered over and over but I want to give some advice a few pointers you may not have heard before a review and then some new things first I want to take a moment 28 years ago the ball was rolling toward this I came in in 1989 the political changes on the planet were vast it was starting then to change the future my partner was not necessarily receptive and it took years to the place where he could write that was even understandable at that point in time you might say well crying did you think you would ever be talking about the shift would it take place I had seen this before I knew there would be those who would not accept it but I want to tell you how I feel there is emotion on the other side of the veil it is compassion it is love it is celebration it's pure it is absolutely pure there are those who have sat in the ecstasy of God for eons they've talked about it 
you see them, they're painted. Their eyes are cast upwards. And they have God inside. There's light around them. That's how I feel. To sit here, have you, have you been past that marker and on your way to something grand? Knowing in advance that there will be doubt in the future because you will see two steps forward and one back. And yet there's no stopping the ball from rolling toward an accelerated graduate earth of high consciousness at a pace that will be at your own decision and your own level. But it will go faster, dear ones, dear old soul, if you'll listen to me now. Some of you have been in this you call metaphysics most of your life. That's who I want to address. The one who is just awakening, who is not in this, won't have the issues you have. None of them. Everything will be new. They will have decisions to make. They will not have to unlearn anything that they learned. And you will. And the hardest thing is the bias that you carry over. It tells you you know how to connect to God. We have talked about this before. We've given you metaphors before. But we really haven't discussed it in this terminology. What are you going to do when you lose it? Healer, are you listening? Reader, are you listening? The connection is that which you felt in the past. You know you're connected. You can feel it. Again, I go with the paintings. The shaft of light comes down and your eyes are cast up. It's like you're looking into the eyes of an angel. You feel it. Your whole cellular structure radiates and vibrates. I'm connected. And that's when the epiphanies come and the beautiful dreams, the writings, the prophecies, the joy. And along comes 2012. And you sit there with your eyes cast up and there's no light. And there's no thing, no thing that would ever give you an indication you were connected at all. No thing. And we've discussed this before, and you say it's been shut off. And it hasn't been. It simply moved. But the bias you carry is that this is what I've always done. It's coming back. Things will settle. It's coming back. No, it isn't, dear ones. It moved on. It moved to a higher frequency. It moved to a higher level. It moved to a higher light source. It moved a little bit over there. Not too far. It's just over there. And yet the bias of the human being says God is the same today, yesterday, forever. Therefore, God is going to be the same. And the truth is this. You're right. But again, we say it's human beings that change the relationship to God. Therefore, move over, because you are expected to vibrate higher, to feel that which says you can get into the light. The old place you sat is that which is now old. It's not commensurate with your magnificence. Get up. Move over. Get in the light. The frequency, you might say, you might describe, of the connection has moved. You might say it's higher. I say it's different. You've had what I would call a very identifiable three-dimensional frequency you tune into and feel the ecstasy of God. Suddenly there's layers. Suddenly there's multidimensionality. Suddenly it's in color instead of just one yellow. 
the light now resonates so differently and you're still sitting in that same place literally in the dark because you don't want to move there are those who say all right all right cry and understand how do I do it let me ask you this how did you do the first one did you jump through hoops did you climb ladders or steps did you have to have lessons and the answer is no you just sat there and you went into a space that said dear spirit I'm here let's talk you gave the invitation and over a period of time this is what took place then the connection got more often if you're a meditator you know you get into a certain space literally where you float everything is there it clicks into place let me ask you what you have to do to get there the answer is just expect it that's the answer number one we'll say it again understand it moved understand that you did nothing wrong and that this new energy is uncomfortable for some of you because you're just not getting that you're still sitting in a place expecting the same thing to happen it got bigger so did you you just not matched up yet so how do you do it you do the same thing you always did first of all change your position don't even consider that it's still where you were go to another place perhaps even change the chair do anything you can that tells your innate I'm getting ready for something different then when you sit there you can do the same thing you did before dear spirit I am here in my magnificence I've got inside I'm ready for the connection and over time dear ones he'll come to you it's almost like you're matching light sources but as long as you expect your light to be somewhere else it's not gonna happen that's the first step second step if you want to call it even a step at all is don't decide in advance what it's gonna feel like you think you know don't you I've connected for 50 years you might say or 30 or 20 or 10 with spirit I'm a healer I know what it feels like to be connected no you don't you know what it feels like to be marginally connected you have no idea about being connected and that is the offer don't decide in advance what you're looking for instead you stand in this purified light that you can't see and you haven't really experienced yet and you say dear spirit I'm here match my light to yours and then don't expect something that you had before it's not going to overwhelm you with emotion dear ones maybe the first one did now it's going to overwhelm you with truth and wisdom and appropriateness like a key in a lock there you are and you're going to say this is good you'll feel it in your heart not in an overwhelming emotional way but in a way that says I am connected hard to describe the difference between euphoria and being connected one is an emotion it's actually pretty much one way but the key in the lock the real connectivity is a two-way street you are being given answers you're being given wisdom all of these things I want to talk to some of you I know who's listening to this this is not for this audience necessarily I know who's listening 
I want to talk to the senior who's given up. Now you know I've identified you, don't you? It's too much trouble, you'll say. I'm a creature of old habits. I've been doing this a certain way for so long, I'm not really sure that I can change. And even as you say that, and your body hears that, there is an enormous entourage dressed in formal attire, waiting for the party for you to find the energy that's just a step away. You have so much help. If you'd simply acknowledge, I'm going to continue, and it's going to be better than it ever was. There are those of you who have stepped away and told your psyche and your innate that you are frightened and worried because you can't find it again. Did you know this is an invitation for disease in your body? Because if you're not going to stand in the light, dear ones, why even exist? You might even sign your life away. You spent so much time invested in the light, you can't just cross this bridge and give up. That's an invitation for an unbalance. You know better. You know better. We're all there dressed in formal, formal attire. We're waiting for the light to be turned on for you to arrive and reconnect in a way you never have before and keep it going. That's for the elder who gives up. Being uncomfortable in this new energy is so common for old souls. Because now you've got to drop the baggage. That's the other one. What is it that you've carried around that you think you need? the protection, the clearing, whatever it is we've told you before. This is new. You can't, ca you can't carry around your, your lamp oil when you have electricity, and some of you are. It's dangerous. It catches on fire. <laughs> Do you get it? It's dangerous to carry the old baggage into the new energy. Because you'll always use it as a crutch or expect it's going to do this or that when it does nothing. Your light in this new energy is so immense, you don't need electricity or lamp oil. All you need is you and an understanding. Finally, you're connected in a way, in a way you've had dreams about. Haven't you had the dreams where you're connected? Haven't you had them stand where you have shafts of light coming through you? Now you know I'm talking to you, don't you? I know who's here. Shafts of light. And you wake up from the dream. You say, wouldn't that be nice? It is nice. Welcome to the new energy. Because that's you. That was a foreteller of you in this energy. The light is esoteric. You can't measure it. Not really. Not yet. But the ones who can feel it are the ones that would oppose you. Because no longer is there opposition not to that kind of light. They'll run from you. You've got wisdom, power. The power of truth and knowledge. Knowledge that will create a civilization eventually that will never war with itself. This is who you are. If you get connected, your health will start to correct itself. Balance is what happens when connectivity takes place. I want to tell you something. Everyone here needs to hear that. If you get connected, the innate in your body will start to clean up that which is biological. It's about that which cleans the body with compassion, understanding, and truth. 
when your stress levels disappear so they can't be measured anymore where disease flows away from you instead of into you when you can safely walk in dark places and not be afraid because you carry your own light when the fear of that which would unbalance you goes away because you know it's not yours anymore it doesn't belong to you anymore there are those in the room who have actually accepted disease to the point where you say I have this have you ever thought about what your body hears when you say I have this and you name something you've just owned it acknowledged it and your body heard you that is dangerous old soul watch what you say I have magnificence I have light I'm working the puzzle to eliminate this I am in the process of clearing this never say I have this and then name a disease or an issue or a problem because your innate is so aware right now of your commands to it it's almost like it's listening to every single word you say to everyone it's time for you to claim that magnificence it's going to help you to connect believe me you're beginning to turn on your light it's the beginning it's why I'm here the transition is tough only because the bias is caused from eons of being a certain way and now it is not that's the message today oh there's more much more the oil the catalyst the thing that greases the wheels of all of this is a word you don't want to hear patience all of you are impatient every single one because at some level you can feel it coming the train is arriving you got the ticket you've been waiting years you can hear it but it's not here yet so now you wring your hands and say come on come on come on come on come on come on I want you to be patient because it's a guarantee you're gonna get on the train and in the process of the patience more stress will disappear it's all related dear ones to you passing into an energy you've never seen before never felt before never been in before I'm crying in love with humanity for these very reasons being a light worker is work and so it is.